If you'd have said to me, you're going to come to Loch Lomond, a massive expanse of water like this in Scotland, like we have today, and caught as many roach as we have today, I wouldn't have believed you ever. It's been incredible. And this is the gear that we've used to do it. We're fishing a feeder because it's deep and we're fishing quite far out. 50 metres, in fact, beyond quite a steep, gnarly, rocky ledge. He's on. Come on. Please be a roach. Oh, I feel it grating on the stone. Here he is. What is it? That's why the fish are there. Loads of cover. They sit just beyond it. And to get us past that ledge to that 50 meter mark, I've got a 13 foot Aventus distance feeder rod with a two ounce tip in it. And that's matched to a 4,000 reel. Loads of winding power there. And I've loaded it with 010 Pulse 8 braid. Now, braid is really important when you're fishing a long way out in deep water for shy biting fish like the roach that we're catching here because even the bigger ones give quite tentative bites and braid magnifies that you see them very well and you can pick up and strike into fish really directly oh <laughs> that's on but you can't cast a heavy feeder full of bait all day straight off braid and that's why we've got a 10 pound shield shock leader. That shock leader takes all the grunt of the cast, all the hammer from bringing the fish in, dragging your feeder up over all them rocks. So a strong shock leader to cast off and take all that grunt, really important. And it also houses the terminal end of the rig. And I've gone for a helicopter rig here. It's easy to tie, really quick to tie. But the main reason I've used it is because it doesn't ever tangle. Even if you've got a headwind square on in your face, you won't get frap ups with this rig. Run the bar. I've got a super tight line stop on there, followed by a little quick change heli swivel, which I'll attach my hook length to, then another super tight line stop. And that creates the helicopter effect. So that little swivel can spin all the way around, can't get tangled when you're casting, winding, fishing. And below that, I've twisted up about four inches of the shock leader. And just in the bottom of that twisted loop, I've got a snap link swivel so I can change my feeder really quickly. Now, in terms of feeder choice, there's loads of different kinds you can use, but the fish are feeding well today. We want to be aggressive. It's a big venue, plenty of bait in there, and also plenty of weight on to get it down quickly. I've got a 40 gram large exchange on. Um, but plenty of other kinds of feeders with me, some smaller ones in case it gets harder, winder feeders, they're always worth a try as well. And hook length wise, a little bit like the feeder, you've got to vary up a bit, but I've found what's best today is about three feet. It's a cut down ready rig, I've been a bit lazy. It's a size 10 um, feeder special hook, love them for this style, really sharp, super strong, an 017 engage. And it's been working an absolute treat. In fact, I'm going to go and catch some more on it.